All right, this is uh, probably gonna be a pretty confusing video. Honestly, I'm still kind of confused myself on how this whole thing really could even have been put onto the internet and they thought this was a good idea. I don't really know. Uh, it it's gonna take a lot of explaining, I think, for this one to really, I guess, uh, start to make a little bit of sense here. But uh, last time I think we talked about PETA here on the channel, if I do remember correctly, we were talking about how they basically, PETA basically went downtown and they tried to beat up this old car and they were like taking some tool, like a sledgehammer or something and trying to bust the windows out of some car because the company was animal abusers and whatnot. Just something pretty ridiculous considering the fact that, you know, the glass shards could kill birds and not necessarily an actual good protest to just beat windows out of a car or anything. So uh, they have come out. PETA has come out with a video here on Twitter. And the more that I watch it, the more I think that we're in like a fucking pocket dimension. Or something because like I simply can't understand what's going on with this video and why this ever was released onto the internet and how they thought this was like something that even made sense. But the longer it goes on, man, I'm so perplexed right now. But the longer it goes on, the more entrenched they seem into the idea as they have yet to take this down and it's something that they willingly made. So this little video they made takes place in the game Animal Crossing New Horizons, which for some reason it's been a game where like PETA is really on board with, like, fucking with the people who play this game and messing with them. And I don't, I don't get it, because it's a video game first and foremost, but there is so much more important stuff going on in the world. Even if you're, like, anti-animal abuse and whatnot, there are so much more important things going on right now than Animal Crossing New Horizons. PETA apparently is out here trying to stop the video game animal abuse, which, I mean, I, I don't understand, like, how they even think this is a remotely good use of their time, but I guess the best way to really break it down is to just kind of jump into the video. I mean, you guys are going to probably be confused, so go ahead and take take a look. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, uh, PETA has gone into Animal Crossing New Horizons, they went to an island, and they are now staging an in-game protest against animal abuse in a video game. Yeah, I should never have to say that ever in my life, but that's what's happening here. I don't necessarily understand what they think that quote-unquote combating animal abuse in video games is going to do. It doesn't solve the real world issue. It's not like it's not like someone who's like, I don't know, sitting around kicking puppies in the face all day and like pulling feathers out of animals and stuff for fun is just sitting there, right? And they see this video or I'm sorry, this TikTok where PETA stages a protest in Animal Crossing New Horizons about emptying the tanks. And they're just like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't abuse animals anymore. Maybe I should be a little bit nicer to my puppy. <laughs> Alright, so keep in mind that Blathers is apparently a character in Animal Crossing. I have never played the game. I don't really know. All I know is, like, the very basic premise of the game and, like, some of the characters in the game. Like, Tom Nook and Isabel, I think, are two characters and things like that, right? So, you know, I, I guess I have a very rudimentary understanding of the game. Maybe this is where PETA really outshines me. Uh, they're basically staging a fucking protest against a virtual video game character, right? Nothing real here. Uh, this, this Mr. Blathers or whatever, from what I know, doesn't represent any real human being. No real world connection at all. So a half dozen PETA members are so bored at home during quarantine right now that they all got on their switches, went to an island, and made this bullshit. Just think about that, like, you have to have literally nothing else important going on in your life for this to be something that you actively pursue. Where it's like, if you had a job right now, you would be at work. If you had kids, hopefully, you'd be taking care of the kids. But no, instead, you're sitting at home at 3.30pm on an empty stomach in, in some shitty apartment on your Nintendo Switch hosting a virtual protest against a museum in Animal Crossing New Horizons for TikTok. I think, if anything, folks, this should just show you that, you know, as bad as your life can be, it never gets this bad. Okay. 
Okay, uh, where do I even begin here? So they're emptying the tanks by getting rid of fish in a museum in a video game because that's animal cruelty in uh, Animal Crossing's New Horizons. But not only that, they are quote-unquote canceling blathers. Hashtag blathers is over party. It's got to be mental illness at this point. This has to be a fucking mental illness. You know, as much as I kind of like dislike the K-pop stands on Twitter who take shit to way too far levels where they want to just cancel people for breathing three times one day on a Tuesday afternoon, at least they are canceling real people. Not to excuse what they do in any stretch, but at least they're like actually targeting a person. They're not going onto their fucking Nintendo Switch and trying to cancel a video game character. That's it. Uh, as a Call of Duty fan, I've realized all the war crimes that were committed in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Captain Price, you're cancelled. It's over, bud. Hashtag Captain Price is over party. I think you all know how fucking stupid that sounds, right? Because it doesn't even make sense. You literally can't cancel this character in the game. But then on top of that, you're spending your time trying to free fish in a video game. Not even considering the fact, like, once again, there's so much abuse of animals that actually happens around the globe all the time, right? Perfect opportunity right now to be spreading awareness. Everyone's home, everyone's online, most people aren't at work or anything. You only got a couple more days of that because a lot of places are reopening. You'd think they'd want to, like, capitalize on that and be like, yeah, well, we can actually reach the masses right now if we just don't act like dipshits and we make a cohesive point that isn't us canceling video game characters. But no, then they're just like, you know what, this is what's going to get people's attention. And I guess in a way it does, right? Because like we all kind of point and make fun of them. But I just want to point out that, you know, PETA is, I guess, trying to save virtual fish from the torture of sitting in an aquarium and being fed and living a very dull life in water in a goddamn museum in Animal Crossing. But PETA is the same group that has an extremely high kill rate in a lot of their facilities where they keep dogs and a lot of their pounds or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, PETA, PETA's been known for killing a lot of animals because they didn't get adopted. Euthanasia is actually a favorite of PETA. They are, they're huge fans of euthanasia. So folks, I want you to go ahead and take a, se a second to consider this. Which one do you think is worse? Fish being held in, you know, just regular old aquariums or whatever you want to call them in Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch, or thousands of dogs being killed and having their lives prematurely cut short because PETA was the people in control of them at the end of the day. Wh wh which one do you think's a little bit worse, right? Like, wh which one do you think should be addressed first? I, I don't know. I, you know, just something to consider. I'll, I'll leave that with you guys. But it also has come to my attention that apparently, I, and I don't know if this is true, I, I would love for you guys to actually confirm this in the comments below if you can, I guess in order for this whole video to be filmed, PETA actually had to kind of create a false narrative and outrage, I guess, because I don't, I don't know if people are actually mad about this. It, I can't imagine that anyone who has, like, an IQ over 75 and is, like, kind of sane would ever be mad about this, but I guess in Animal Crossing New Horizons, like, uh, Blathers has the museum or whatever, but it's completely empty when you start the game, and in order to get fish in the aquariums, Apparently, you have to actually go fishing, and you have it's like an in game little activity, and you have to take the fish to him for him to display. So, essentially, what happened here is PETA was trying to speak out against fish being put in tanks in a video game, and they wanted to cancel Blathers for having them in the tank. But basically, what PETA did was they went and they fished out the, the fish that got put into the aquariums and then filmed themselves having a fake like rally slash protest in game and demanded that fish be emptied from the tanks because they belong in the ocean. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever, have ever seen this meme, right? I think it's a pretty common one. I've seen it so many times I can't count. This is essentially PETA in any sense of the word. All the fucking time, this is what PETA does. And PETA, they're known at this point for just saying and doing stupid shit for attention. But PETA doesn't seem to realize that nobody actually cares about PETA, and nobody really cares about their propaganda that they spew. People do care about animal cruelty, right? I think it's a very terrible thing. But then at the same time, you have these idiots going around and filming videos on Animal Crossing New Horizons, where they create the same thing that they're apparently outraged over, which, by the way, are quite literally pixels on a screen and megabytes of saved game data. That's, that's what's uh, the whole outrage here. 
And I, I just don't understand. Like, you would think that any normal human being would not ever think that this is a goddamn, like, okay thing to do, like a good idea. So, uh, another thing I found funny about this, actually, because PETA is known... They're, they're real cool with the kids, right? Well, PETA replied to said tweet with this gif here. You know, it's Shaquille O'Neal. Drama. Get that out of here. Bad vibes. Go on. Negativity. No, sir. Anxiety. Go away. Yo, PETA, remember how you're all anti-negativity, but then you kill thousands of dogs per year? I wonder the anxiety that those dogs feel knowing that their life is leaking out of them because PETA decided they didn't want to take care of them. And oh, about drama, remember that time that you kidnapped someone's family pet and euthanized it? Remember that? Those were some pretty bad vibes, I would say. That, that's definitely not a very okay, cool thing to do. Also like this one. One, Blathers is also an animal, which is true, at least from what it appears. And number two, you have to donate to have a museum in the first place. Your logic makes absolutely no sense. PETA replied, one, thanks for the tip. Number two, we're raiding islands to free fish. So, thanks for the tip. What, it wasn't fucking apparent enough? Like, I, I don't understand. What do you mean, thanks for the tip? It's more than apparent. Like, I don't know, man. It, it can't It can't be anything that makes sense. A and you're raiding islands to free fish. So basically, what I'm hearing from PETA is while other people are enjoying a video game, they're just having a good old time on their island or whatever, they're fucking fishing digital fish to put in a museum, not actually hurting animals, and then a bunch of people from PETA who have literally no life and they have nothing better to do with themselves are going to their island and basically fucking bullying them and harassing them by spamming all over the place to free fish while they're simply just trying to enjoy the game. And the Animal Crossing community, bless their, bless their souls, man, really came out and just toasted PETA's shit on this one because they absolutely deserved it. So PETA likes putting gifts for some reason. Like, I think they think it makes them relatable and cool, but then again, I don't kill thousands of dogs per year, so we're not relatable. Uh, they, yeah, they're raiding islands to free fish, but apparently... In order to even get onto people's islands in Animal Crossing, you actually have to be friends with them. So, once again, PETA is manufacturing drama bullshit in order to push a narrative that they themselves don't even believe in. And also, I guess people who, like, visit islands can't just be placing signs or anything like that everywhere either, so... Very clear manufactured video by PETA. And, uh, by the way, just a little, I guess, word of advice to the Animal Crossing community if you're watching. If you ever find yourself raided by PETA and they're in chat, just start linking to, uh, some of the articles that I've linked down below that explain all the shitty things that PETA do and see how they start responding to that. Because I, I would love to see some of that. I'd love to see how PETA responds to that information. But with that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below for the freshest officialist Optimus merch. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus fishing and crying and signing out.